Hi everyone, this is Abby. So today I'm just going to make a real quick video on how to uh, retrieve your downloads from our Etsy store. Um, generally this is pretty self-explanatory if you're all familiar with Etsy, you probably already know how to do it. But uh, for some of my customers, it's not as obvious, so I wanted to create just a really quick guide on how to do it, as well as a couple little things that generally need to be troublesh um, troubleshooting along the way. So, the first thing you're going to do after you purchase your item is um, you'll be on Etsy, you'll, you'll purchase your item from our shop. My shop is catchingcolorflies.com. Um, or catchycolorflies.etsy.com in this case, but you'll go to your, your Etsy um, profile here, where your little picture would be. This is a, a friend of mine's account that purchased some things from me and um, let me use this for demonstration purposes. So you're just going to go to your, your little profile here, click down, and you'll see where it says purchases and reviews. Just click on that. So here are the two items that were purchased. Um, that she purchased from me. And you'll see right here is a big orange button that says download files. <clears throat> so go ahead and click on download your files. It's going to take you to your uh, your receipt basically. Um, it's going to have some information here from me that I'm kind of going over as it is in this video. Um, it's just going to be, you know, if you have questions or issues, please message me. You know, here's where you can follow us and um, some general frequently asked questions. So when you're on that page, just scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see your downloads here. Now I'm doing all of this on a uh, laptop or you could do the same on a desktop computer. If you are on a mobile device like a iPhone, an Android phone, an iPad or a tablet, you can still see this stuff, but when you go to download it, because these are compressed to zip files, you are not going to have a very easy time opening up the compressed to zip files, which I'm about to show you on a computer. If that is you and you do not own a computer and you just need to access the PDFs for printing or the SVG files if you're working on an iPad with Cricut Design Space or another program, then just send me a message and I will unzip the files for you and email them manually so that you don't have to try and figure out how to work with um, software that doesn't really work very well with mobile devices. Okay, so if you're one of those people, just know that you can send me a message and I will get back to you as soon as I am able to. So continuing on here, you're going to see that this was a single file and this had four templates that came in it and there's going to be a zip file download for each one of them. So all you're going to do is you're going to click on download your file. It's automatically going to start your download and you're going to see it drop generally for most if you're using Chrome or I think even Firefox does the same thing. You're going to see it drop down here. You can also always access it right here in downloads. So these three little dots, you can pull it up here and you will see your downloads there as well. Another place you can always access your file is also in your file explorer on your computer. Every computer generally has a downloads folder and you're, you can click on that and you should be able to see your downloads in there as well. So lots of different places you can access it um, once it's been downloaded. So we downloaded it from Etsy here and it just you can drop it down here. Once you click on the three dots up here, it might clear this out down here in your footer area, but you can always reaccess it through that. Anyways, um, once it's finished downloading here, just double click on it. It might ask you this, um, just hit open or okay on your computer. There's nothing harmful in our files. This is just a default program for my computer. Um, so just click open and then you're going to see all your files right here. Now you're viewing this still as a compressed zip folder. Um, you can organize it by type to make it a little bit more streamlined. We got our PDFs here, our PNGs, and our SVG files. So what I want to say about this is if when you double click to open your uh, zip file here, for most of you it will probably pop up in your file explorer, which is what this is. This is offline. This, this box right here that I'm looking at 
you don't have to be on the internet to be viewing this because it's just opening it on my desktop in my downloads folder. So you can see my PC and downloads folder. So if that's how it opens, you're good to go. We'll continue with that in just a moment. If you are someone who it happens to open a new tab on your computer and you're still within a Chrome or Firefox browser and it's letting you view the file through the internet, it might appear as different formats. For example, the SVGs may appear as HTML uh, rather than SVG. It's the same thing, it's just reading it differently. So I'm just saying that because Sometimes people get confused when they're looking for their SVG files if it doesn't open in their file explorer. So just make sure you're going to your desktop rather than opening it on a computer browser. Um, okay, so once you're in your file here, you're just gonna copy and paste these out onto your desktop so they're outside of the compressed zip floor. You can also hit extract. Almost every computer has a um, decompression software already built in. Um, I am a PC user. Most Macs have them built in as well. Again, if you're on an iPad or a mobile device, this will not be the case for you. So just send me a message to have them unzipped for you and I will manually email them <clears throat> to you whenever I'm able to do so. So um, just copy and paste these out. You can put them on your desktop. You can put them in Dropbox if you have Dropbox folders, whatever you want to do with that. I just highlight all of them by shift clicking all and then just it might ask you this, just hit OK. It's just my, this is my software that asks me that for protection. Um, copy the files. I'm going over to my desktop where I made a fo folder specifically for this. I open my folder and then I just hit paste. Now we have all our files here. I like to organize them by type, so just click your type button if you want to do the same thing. We have our PDFs, we have our PNGs, we have our SVGs. You'll be able to see that these are labeled SVGs because we're viewing them on our desktop rather than in a browser which would relabel them as the HTML, like I mentioned earlier. Um, so now I'm going to show you real quick just that now you can open up each one of these. Uh, we'll look at, we'll just double click to open our instructions. You'll see your PDF there. Most computers have PDF readers built into them. If yours does not for some reason, Adobe Reader is free online for download. Um, AdobeReader.com, I think, or you can just Google it. You can open it up and view the same view that I'm he I have here. Um, so I'm gonna close that out real quick. And then you will not be able to open up your SVGs except in supporting software. So I have supporting software on here like Adobe and Inkscape, so that's why it, it looks like that with the little black dot you see here, my software on my computer. But if you're using Cricut Design Space like this, for example, or Silhouette, then you'll just upload your images as normal. And where some people get stuck with this is they'll browse and they'll hop over to their, their downloads folder where they downloaded our Giselle file here and they'll double click the compressed zip and you're going to get a message like this. It says you select an unsupported file type, please drag a different file type here or browse your computer again. So we cannot upload compressed zips to Design Space or um, Studio or any of those other cutting softwares. You need to make sure you have decompressed your files by copying and pasting the files out or extracting them on your computer. When you see that we go to browse, and we go to our file that we created and copied our items into, you will then see that your SVGs are available right there separately from the compressed zip that we decompressed. You can double click that and now it loads because you're uploading just the SVG, not the whole compressed zip file. So I just wanted to go over real quick how easy it is to download on a desktop or a laptop Double click to open, make sure you decompress your files on your computer and create a, a separate folder on your desktop for them. And then upload or open any file type that you prepare to use there, whether it be with a cutting machine or with um, hand cutting for PDFs. So that is um, how you do it. And I hope this was enlightening and helped for anybody who is confused about that. And I will see you guys next time.